right there. I have no idea what to wear. Very understated makeup. Morning guys. Um, my voice is slowly going. And I thought it would be a good time to read a little bit. Um, I'm so tired from yesterday. I feel like I'm just going to lie in bed for some time, read, and I'll get up and get my day started. Okay, so it's been a while since I've checked back in with you guys. It's now, um, I mean, it says 6.53, but it's not 6.53. Um, it's actually 3.53 because we're in California. So I wanted to show you guys what I was talking about in my day one vlog about like the whole festival of Navratri. I mean, you can read all about it on my blog, but it's an Indian, like it's, it's basically celebrating just before the new year starts and it kind of embodies this whole idea of female power because the female goddess is generally worshipped during this period and so what i did was this is something i usually don't share but i'm sharing it with you guys because i feel like it's a huge part of me um this right there that is my three hour solo dance debut please don't watch the whole three hours um there's no need to it's too long but uh there's a special piece if you skip to 12928 um which is a dance on the female goddess that's generally worshipped and um definitely you can see the whole idea of feminine power in that dance and it's something that i'm just i mean i still remember my solo dance debut like it was yesterday. Um, I did it in the summer of 2016. Now it's 2018 and uh, I still love dancing. So I just want to share that with you guys as a quick check-in. Um, and on this note, later today I'm going to be filming a uh, get ready with me, um, like an Indian get ready with me. Um, it's going to be like kind of like a Navratri and Diwali special, but I'll probably release it closer to Diwali, so I'll call it a Diwali get ready with me. And for those of you who don't know what Diwali is, that is our Indian New Year. Um, so yeah, that's all. Oh my gosh, you guys, there's just, there's so many options. I have no idea what to wear. Um, so I was thinking first, the first thing that I had in mind was wearing this, um, basically it's like a long flare skirt. It's called a gagra. And um, we wear it with a blouse, but there's two options for blouses, both very nice. Um, yeah, so we wear it with a blouse and then we choose a dupatta or like a basically, it's kind of like a covering, it, kind of like a scarf except a bigger version. So for the dupatta, I have red, which is obviously a beautiful color always. And then I have this really nice candy neon pink, like bubble gum. Um, I really like this because I've been seeing neon a lot. Like in fashion week, people would wear like an all black look with um, like a neon clutch or like a neon purse or neon shoes even. So I like neon, but I don't know if it's still in season because I know it's like fall so deeper tones now um, I don't know we'll see and then another choice I have altogether is this um, flowy dress almost and then you do wear like uh, tight pants underneath this is also more on the colorful end of the spectrum but it's a designer called Abujani Sandeep Kosla and um, he's a wonderful wonderful designer in India um, so, and I've never worn this, so I'm like really 
anxious to wear it. It's very spring though if you see like all the florals and everything. So I don't know, maybe I'll save this one for spring. Not that there's that many, I mean there's holy in spring, but you can't really wear something beautiful in holy. There's not that many Indian festivals in spring, so I don't know. Um, so I'm leaning towards this skirt for sure, but I don't know between the red and the bubble pink. We'll see, and you guys will be the first to know. <laughs> or maybe not. Maybe it will be on Instagram before then, but then, oh well. Okay, my friends, I am ready. This is the outfit. I haven't draped my dupacha that well yet. I'm gonna fix it, but basically, that's the look. Very understated makeup. All of this will be in a Diwali Get Ready With Me um, coming soon to you. Uh, all the jewelry, all the bangles and everything, all of that will be coming to you soon. Um, but yeah, this is the look. vlog <sighs> really tired it's 12 30 um, and I'm still in the Boston time zone so it's actually 3 30 a.m. for me <sighs> gotta take off my makeup jewelry hang my clothes do all of that uh, wind down eat a little snack before bed late night munchies and then go to bed then tomorrow is my last day here I'm leaving at night and yeah, that's about it. See you guys. <laughs>